Hi, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com. In today's video, I want to show you how to build a fairly inexpensive door that looks good and will last for as many years as your shed will. So on the project I'm working on, the whole shed was sided with this LP siding product. Uh, it actually comes in four by eight sheets. And I thought, just to continue on the look of the shed, why don't I make the door out of that as well and just add some decorative trim around it to like the rest of the corners we're going to be. So that's what I did. Uh, it's basically got that siding right here. I've got uh, three inch wide just pine boards painted for the trim. And it's got a two by four frame on the back to give it some rigidity. So if you're interested to know just how I built this, let's watch the rest of the video. And uh, stay tuned right to the end. I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so to start out with, what I did is I built for the inside of the door a 2x4 frame. That's this right here, and just to speed things up, I've pre-built that. And what I did is I measured that about a quarter inch narrower than the piece of plywood that I'm using. And that's just so that when the door swings, this thick frame doesn't rub on the opening as it goes through. It just gives me a little bit of extra room. So, so I will flush this all up to the hinge side on the inside of the door and leave that extra a bit of plywood hanging over on the on the latch side. Now as well on my door, my door uh, is actual siding, it's plywood siding, so it's going to hang down and cover the edge of the floor. So I've also left, when this is all on there, I've left two inches at the bottom of, uh, of plywood so that this frame on the inside isn't inter interfering with uh, closing the door. Okay, so I've cut my pieces I screwed and, and glued the corners together and now I'm just going to simply start by flushing up on this side. I'm going to attach with an inch and a half deck screw up through the uh, plywood into the 2x4 frame. Now I'm keeping them close to the edge because on the other side, as you'll see in a few minutes, we're going to put some white decorative trim all the way around it so it'll cover these screws. So, so I'm just flushing this up. screws flush. I'm just going to kind of get my corners first and then I'll flip it over so you can see what I'm doing. Okay so I've tacked it all on there. I'm just going to turn this over and then I can drive my other screws in. I'm going to put a screw all about every, probably every foot to 16 inches. I've got a 3 inch wooden frame going around it, so I've got lots of area to screw to. Now I just about made a mistake there, um, I've got to remember I've only got 3 inch trim so I've got this 2x4 up uh, 2 inches from the bottom, I believe it is, yeah, so I don't have a lot to screw to there so I'm going to mark these ones just to make sure that it gets covered with the trim when I do it. I just put those screws in too high and they would have been exposed. Okay, so that was pretty easy. You could secure that with construction adhesive as, as well if you want, but because we can screw it easily and put as many screws as we want, there's no point for the adhesive, I don't think. All right, I'll get set up to do the trim. Okay, so I've got my trim, and all I'm using is, uh, I took some uh, one by fours and ripped them down to three inches, just that's the size I wanted, and I painted them all up. And that's what I'm using. Really basic, fairly inexpensive. 
And I'm not doing anything fancy with the joints. They're going to be simple butt joints. So I'm going to start by putting the uh, bottom piece on. And then I'll set the two side pieces on. This is the bottom, that's the top. And then I'll put the top one on. If I cut them right, it should work out. We'll see. So I'm going to use a little bit of uh, construction adhesive on the bottom or on under all these trims because I'm just going to use a brad nailer to tack them on there. Okay, so I just realized, remember I've got this this uh, 7 16 material only here. I don't have the wood behind, so I need to use some I can't nail it like I was going to. I would have blown right through the front of it. So I'm going to use some screws and attach this bottom piece because I'm really only going to be able to fasten through the through the uh, plywood itself. So just get things lined up and I'll throw some screws in. made for some good outtakes if I would have blasted some nails through the face of that. Okay. So now everything else I should be able to uh, use the nailer. So we'll put some adhesive down first. Maybe I'll just double check that my pieces are cut to the right length. in the right spot. Yes, we're going to be all right. So, so I can put some adhesive down now. This I can flush right up to the outside edge of my wood, my plywood, and we'll brad nail it in place. Oop, maybe deeper than that. You notice on the top and bottom, I put my adhesive on in vertical streaks, and that is so if any moisture gets behind either of those horizontal pieces, it should drain out and not get trapped behind there. Okay, get rid of this mess. So the nice thing with brad nails, well I'd actually fired two, that's why it didn't go down. But generally with 18 gauge brad nails, if you get them protruding like that, and you try to pry them out, you just make a mess of the surface of your that you're working on. Uh, but with the 18 gaugers, usually if you work them back and forth, they'll just break off below the surface, so it should be alright. Okay, so there's our uh, door. Now I can just simply go around, fill all my nail holes that are showing on the face, and give it the final coat of paint on the trim, and we should be good to go. The other thing you can do if you want is you could put a bead of exterior grade uh, paintable caulking all along in the inside there just to help shed the water out from going behind the trim. Uh, but other than that, we're pretty much done. Let's stand it up and have a look. There we are.
So hopefully you found this uh, informative. Um, I, I just wanted to show you, you know, a s quick, simple, easy way to make a shed door and uh, not cost an arm and a leg as well. In my other shed series, you've seen me use a metal roll-up door. They're pretty costly. And uh, this is a, a much cheaper alternative to mount on your shed. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and go check out all our other videos.